Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Photoshop Actions and use them in your own work. Let's get started. An action is just a set of steps that have been recorded by their creator so they can be reapplied at any time without having to go through each step manually all over again. So the first step is to download some Photoshop Actions. If you don't have any already, feel free to grab the project files now for some free actions to help you get going. Typically, Photoshop Actions are packaged into a zip file with other files like product and usage information. The actual action file itself is going to have a .atn file extension. Extract the contents of the zip file into a folder on your computer. I'll just extract mine to the desktop to make them easy to find. Now, there are two main ways to load actions into Photoshop. The first and easiest way is to simply drag and drop the .atn file into the Photoshop window. Now if I open the Actions palette, you'll see that they've been loaded in. Another way is to click the drop-down menu icon in the Actions palette and choose Load Actions. Then you can just navigate to your .atn file and double-click it to load it in. Now that the actions are loaded in, we'll go into our document and see how to use them. All you have to do is select a layer in your document, highlight the action that you want to use, and hit the Play button. Photoshop will quickly apply all the recorded steps in the action. Sometimes it's so fast that it will finish before you can even move your mouse to continue working. So I'm going to delete all these new layers that my action created and play this other one back just so you can see how quickly it goes. If you want to skip certain steps in an action, you can simply uncheck them in the actions palette before pressing play. When you use actions, you're basically using someone else's workflow, and when you download quality actions, you're essentially having a professional editing your work while you sit back and watch. I'm John Shaver from Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.